once again. Such good situations, but these two are just at this top level of play where the smallest difference, a frame or two right there, you saw it. Wake the up once again from Phenom. This time the MV's ready for the jumping though. Come oh. on, grab your speed out by the ESDP. Phenom not giving up on this round. Oh, frame trap heavy. Three walk up medium kicks in a row. The same challenge that lost him the last game saved him from more pressure in this round. What? Phenom man. The game has got to be careful. Phenom's not giving up on this round. Oh. Great jump. Just caught him out there. The braver right now on round both of these two. players to even be operating at the capacity, filling up the spaces that they're at right now just shows you exactly how quick you have to be on the trigger for this game. One moment. Oh, coming hit. I think has got a 100% hit rate so far. In fact, both of these guys have. He is the pickiest eater I have seen. He is sending everything back. I don't want none of it. That makes up too rare. The other one's too well done. Oh, and here, Jab. Lazy from Phenom gets punished. Challenge. Activation. Keep it safe. Made a plus. Right back at you. Interruption. Oh, gosh. Gets back. That's what I like that. I like that from Gimby. Just gets out of there. As you mentioned right there, he found it. Release the safety valve. Has the life lead. These guys are both almost in critical art as well. Phenom is the one to approach. Got to be careful here. Oh. Last disruption from Gimby didn't go into critical art. Gonna tip Chip. him out. Finish. Woo. True block strength that Kali would have. Uh, one of really, I think, a few characters that can really layer in a lot of block strings into Holy that. Can even tack a special move onto the critical art cancel. And he never will gain B reversal after he beat Trigger. So he's also one of the few characters that is very vulnerable to chip kills. Really good choice there in the end from Game of B. Ooh. Gotta be careful though, leaving the guys like Phenom alive. I mean, he had the crouch, the um, count hit, the crouch slap punch. Went into the medium punch into a, into a disguidance. Instead of going into the critical art, which would have killed, Absolutely. moments like that can come back and bite you, but didn't on this occasion. And look at this from Game of B. <laughs> 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 Just patiently waiting there for his opponent to be ready. Round one. Almost looked like a, a teacher with a student. Just very directly. We're doing this on your time. You see already, they are just kind of rocking back. Relaxing. Oh, my goodness. goodness. Just as you said, they were relaxing. He just jumps forward. Caught him trying to stretch, and now Gabriel fights his way out of the corner. It's another back. back that's an impression now. Neither one wanted to deal with that close up, mix up, or four and again it hits. And it back. Only one of those been baited so far. It was very true. Oh, just time to get underneath with the jab. I love the activation there. Make sure he can get a full carry. May only need one combo after all the white life and chippies racked up. Oh, oh that's he it. wasn't ready for the jump in. Stand light punch is not as good of an anti air as it used to be, and even then against V Trigger Nikali, it is much harder to get. Just one of the best anti airs in the game with the DP, just go for it. Right. But it's Phenom who moves into match point here against Game B, and this is a four winner side match. Trade roundhouse, barricade kick. Open up the door. Game B, we see right now, consistently quicker to the punch. It's going to be a nice little lively too. Baits out that ground pound as well. Takes a hard kick from it. We don't look off doing it though. Oh, oh nice yeah. punish. And the scary thing right there for Game B is even though he's quicker to the punch, he hasn't extracted as much damage so that Phenom now with this V-Trigger might be able to bring it back with just a couple of hits, but he's having a hard time getting in. Yeah, he's got to anticipate some kind of risk from Phenom. Now, what a jump from Game B. Going to save the meter here as well. Instead of going for the just does damage to send to the corner. Beautiful play from Game Week. What a One solid more? round. Again, yes. Phenom, 100% hit rate continues. And again, he's going to go for it. He's going to go for this round. Another throw. Game Week's got to be careful. Just jumps out of there. I like that choice. Finally choose oh. it. Oh, and that was another stand light that traded. I wouldn't have done a stand line there, man. Oh. Match point, Fine. both players. Will the fairy tale story continue for Game Week? Tied to not this weekend. And oh my another goodness, ESDP. Phenom. The jab gets me out. Phenom now just like that. Oh, no, the punch wrong. After the back dash. Switching left to right, Eli. One minute is Dream of Gaming being the driver's seat, and the next minute is Phenom. They are literally playing a tug of war right now and a game of chicken at the jump. same time. There's the EXDP. I don't know. I, I don't know how oh. you call this. I have no idea. Oh. Every hit counted for so much more. Weaving and bobbing is Phenom. Both have feet trigger. Oh, oh I got the back end. Oh. from Game of B. Big opening for Phenom. Charges in now. Oh, oh, that's it. We're gonna get it. Get it. No. Can take this. That's he got it. Go it. Oh my God, man. EU. Phenom's alive. EU, yes.